Welcome back to another color grading tutorial and as I promised in my previous video I'm gonna show you the difference between using the noise reduction in the first node versus the last node. Now I want to be clear about it. There's a lot of colorists out there, there's a lot of professionals out there claiming that they always like to use noise reduction in the last node. That's how they always do it and that works best for them. What I'm going to show you based on my personal experience, I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I just want to show you the difference and the reason why I like to use noise reduction in the first node. Now, uh, before we start, I want to tell you that this footage is on 1080 timeline. If I'm going to increase the timeline, let's say to 4K, obviously I'm going to have to use the higher numbers for noise reduction. So. Let's just stick to 1080. I know a lot of you guys still shooting at 1080. So let's make it simple. Okay. So you've seen my previous tutorials. I was explaining how to do color grading. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. That way you guys can take a look and follow the steps. So this particular footage is a little bit noisy. Not too bad. It actually doesn't look bad at all. But we can clean it up. So... If you see my previous tutorials, I always add node right away when I color grade. But this time I decided to kind of put it on a side to explain you what's the difference and what do I do. So, right now we don't have any noise reduction. And if I'm going to have a very first node, and I'm going to call this NR, noise reduction. And I'm actually going to do a last node as well. The way we can compare them. So, in the first node... If I'm going to go to the noise reduction, and again, um, if you don't have a paid DaVinci Resolve version, I think you can only do this in a studio. However, still stick around because this basic concept will help you down the line in the future. So, let me ungang those things, and I'm going to do Luma number 2, and right away we can see how clean it gets. However, it's still a little bit patchy. We can see, I don't know if compression allows you to see it we can still see a little bit of chroma noise and i'm going to put in a chroma noise value of a 10 and i think that does really nice job so now we have those bendings uh don't be alarmed by this it's typical for 8-bit screens to get bending like that if you happen to have 10-bit monitor you shouldn't be able to see bending like that. And I'm also going to show you a little workaround you can do to avoid it. So, this is the first node. As you can see, everything is very clear now. Again, besides bending, but it's very common, especially for the web content. Um, let me go really quick before and after. Okay, so that's before we have huge noise and after. Okay, let's do it again. Before and after okay now let me switch this first node to the last node okay let's switch them so i'm gonna push and hold control key and i'm just simply gonna drag it to the last node just like that and this is what we have if we're gonna apply noise reduction in the last node this is what we get the footage, as you can see, is still pretty grainy and pretty much we have kind of different noise going on versus what originally we had in the beginning like that. So basically, we still have the noise like same from the beginning, just without the chroma. Okay, if we're going to use it in the last node. Now, if I'm going to place that again in the first node, look what's going to happen. Look how much cleaner it gets. And you're probably thinking, oh, it's affecting the quality of the actual footage. Well, let's zoom in all the way. Let me turn off the noise reduction. And this is a original without any noise reduction. Okay, we can see it's slightly a little bit out of focus. Okay, and if I'm going to turn noise reduction on, this is what we get. So, let's see. Before and after. Okay, before and after. Now let's place the very same note in the back. Just like that. So we didn't eliminate any noise and pretty much what we've done by placing noise reduction in the last note is just 
we got rid of the chromanoids, which technically the lumen value of 2 doesn't really do anything. So here's a little workaround. Let's place this in the first node and get that clean footage. And if that bending really bothers you and you kind of want to have a clean footage, what I would do is to add old school classic technique, a little bit of grain, just like that. And depending on your grain size or how severe is the bending, you can choose between, let's see, let's try to do 250. I think that should do fine. Okay, that's a little film grain. Let's see, let's click before and after before and after as you can see it gets rid of the bending and you can obviously play around with the opacity and see which value works best for you so we don't even need to do too much so something like that gets rid of the bending pretty well again i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on the face i mean facebook on the youtube but over here it pretty much eliminates the bending completely Okay, so this is the tutorial about using the uh, noise reduction in the first note versus the last note. This is the reason why I prefer using it in the first note, as you can see. However, I'm not going to claim that this is the right method. All I'm simply doing is how it works best for me. Uh, make sure to leave in the comments what you think about it. Make sure to subscribe, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Take care.